Hey guys, it's Irish again. Uh, in this video, I thought I'd uh, give you a basic guide on how to set up Xmonad. Uh, a person in the LDC IRC channel wanted to switch from Awesome to Xmonad, and I thought I would share the steps that I had him bring up uh, to get to where he was. So, in Xmonad, if you don't re know, it's a tiling window manager. Uh, similar to awesome where you have set layouts so instead of manually doing it like in i3 here you have to uh, set up certain layouts so there's different layouts there's some that come predetermined with it and then there's others that you just have to add but I, I'll put links in the description below where to find all the lists for the uh, layouts so uh, starting off, I'm going to put this in Arch, but there is a different way to do it in Ubuntu and Mint and all the rest of them. Um, so, but this is uh, the way that I follow it. So, if we open up a terminal, go sudo pacman s and then xmonad. Now, to get some certain features, I would want to get the xmonad dash contrib for contribute for contrib and then I'd like to use xmobar you can use dizen or no um, bar whatsoever and then I like to use standalone tray which will give me uh, at, right as you can see down here with the uh, icons so that will give me that so if we uh, put in our password here Uh, as you can see, there's only 21 packages, so we'd have to install all the Haskell and all the Xmonad stuff. So we're going to hit yes for this, and then as I, as we're waiting for this to download, if we go over to the website, the Xmonad website, they actually do have a step-by-step uh, -step on how to set it up. Uh, just note that you should not use this config however uh, once we do move over you'll notice that this uh, as we're going to be reading this is what you're going to be experiencing so by default it does not come with like a D menu or anything else like that so we're going to have to set up D menu uh, to get started with any of these uh, I would suggest uh, you can copy, you can fork my um, my config to to match what you want. Um, but the guy that I helped, he has three monitors. So if we look at his config, if you go up uh, this import layout independent screens, so that will go for the different screens, and then there's certain ones that will go into second one is the workspaces you want to do say how many screens you have and then with the workspaces and then if we go all the way down to to here uh, this right here will just tell you what screen you're on and it will display nine um, workspaces in there. It does come with nine by default. If you are in Arch or in any other distro and you want clickable um, uh, workspaces, so if you just click here, um, I would suggest getting a tool called XDo Tool and that will, uh, uh, if we go up into here, it's right here. You just have to make your own uh, XMO bar, and then it's just clickable. And then there's the tool, what it's called. So it's X D O T O O L. And then this is what you need to put in to make your workspaces clickable. So you can click with a mouse and everything. So it looks like we are done. 
So the next thing we do, if you do not have a display manager and using uh, auto login through your .z shell RC or bash RC, uh, if we go into our xinit RC file, so go to so vim tilde dot x in it rc you want to put in the execute and then you want to put x monad now if you are using standalone tray excuse me you also want to put standalone tray in there and the and symbol so everything can run below it and then I haven't been able to get the things to run inside the config, so I just put them into our um, in my xinit file. So if we go here and here and then here, so we're going to have our network manager applet and our volume icon, and then you also just want to make sure that you say the and symbol so that everything else below it can run. So the next thing before we move over to our xmonad is that we want to set up our standalone tray. I'll just show you what mine looks like. And we're just going to autocomplete. So it's an RC file. Uh, again, I'll have this in my GitHub so you guys can fork this and change it. Now if you want how many um, icons you want. Uh, it's right here. You would just do a five icon by one. That means rows. And then the 450 plus zero is the X, Y axis. So the 450 is going to place it uh, about around here. But again, if you just want it all the way over, you would just do a 100 or uh, you just incrementally figure it out. So we just want to make sure that that's a hidden file and it is the stand loan tray RC. So we'll just save that and then I will be back uh, when we get into the X, uh, X, -mon X monad. So well, I will be right back. Okay, so we are in our X monad. So if you did not uh, to the option of having the standalone tray then everything will be blank so the, to open up a terminal you would want to do alt shift and then enter and then by default it would do the X term um, so the mod key is the alt key so it is changeable so you can change it to the Windows key if you want uh, it's going to be inside the um, it's going to be inside the config file. That's what you would do. So to close the program, it's going to be similar to the awesome, which would be Alt Shift and then C. So to if you have D menu installed, so if you have D menu installed, it's going to be Alt P, and then that can open it up. So if we go back into the config file, so by default also um, it does not come with a config file. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a terminal and you're going to make a directory and you're going to call it the .xmonad and then we just want to cd into that .xmonad. So as you see, there's nothing listed. So the file that we want to get is going to be the, we're going to use gedit for this, gedit uh, is going to be the xmonad.hs. So the hs is the Haskell extension. So if we open that up, so that's gmenu here. We are going to take my config file so it's going to be here and we're just going to copy all the way down to the end and then we're just going to paste 
So with uh, with Haskell, you would want to make sure that everything is uh, spaced correctly because Haskell is very stingy when it comes to its syntax. So under the my config uh, equals default config, that's where we can determine what our terminal is. So ours is going to be the urxvt, then my workspace, keys, layouts, then the normal border, and then you can do uh, border width. So I usually set that to zero. So we're going to actually copy and then right down here is where again where's the X do tool. So we're going to save this, exit, and now to reset it it's going to be uh, Alt Q and this should. So if you don't have Xmonad or Xmobar config set, this won't uh, show anything. Uh, s similar to the volume control, I haven't put that in, but uh, if we just type it down here, uh, as you can see, we have our nine workspaces, and then right down here, that red one right here, is our layout that we're on. So to change it, you can do the similar to awesome mod, mod, mod key and then spacebar. And then you could go tall, mirror tall, full screen, tab simplest, and then grid. The grid is what I prefer. I'll show you what that looks like. So it's obviously going to grid into the four squares. And then if you keep going, it will split it up. So that's the one that I prefer the most. So that is what I'm going to uh, call it for this video. Um, in the next video, I will do my best to explain uh, a little bit further uh, some of the stuff that's in the config file. And we'll uh, also get xmobar uh, set and running. So I will see you guys in the next video.